Hello and welcome to this Blender topic on using Boolean modifiers. I will open up a file here that I prepared. It looks like your regular default opening file. It just has a cube in it. Uh, but that's in this layer. I have prepared uh, a sequence of events in the first layer. But assume that you have just a new file and uh, you have a cube. Next thing to do is to add a sphere. So I do Shift A and uh, UV sphere and change the number of segments to 12 and the number of rings to 8. And then I can move this over here and I would like to scale it down so I do S and 0 0.5. So now it's a little bit smaller and I want would like to move it over to here like this. And the idea behind this is to use this cube as kind of a piece of cheese or something and, and cut pieces out of it by using another shape and the Boolean modifiers. So I'll add, I'll select the cube and add a Boolean modifier, and I'll use in this case difference. And and I'll as the object I'll use the sphere. No, not that one. I use this sphere because that's the sphere that we have in this layer. So we'll look at this a little bit here. Yeah, you can see this is sphere zero point zero zero one. And I'll select the cube with the right mouse button. And then I have chosen difference and sphere, this sphere, sphere here. And I apply that. If I then pull this out, you can see that this sphere is now applied to this uh, cube mesh here. And if we go into edit mode, you can see how this is done. And because the resolution, so to speak, of these two meshes were, were very different. You get all these triangles. And if you, for instance, use the subdivision surface modifier on this, it deforms this this um, cube quite a bit, which might may or may not be what you wanted. In my case, this is not what I wanted. But this is the starting point of this sequence of refinement. So that's the basic um, function. I'll remove this modifier right now. But that's the basic function of this difference um, um, boolean. We can also do shift A and add a cube and then move this over here and to select the cube again, add a boolean and use yeah the intersect and use sphere 0 0.001 and apply that. Then what you get is you get this, instead of something being cut out of the cube, you get, so to speak, um, the, resu the resulting subtraction from the intersect. This, this is the intersector, and then you get, you know, the cube is cutting, cutting through it, slicing through it. So these are kind of two opposite uh, functions in a way. And we'll do this again with um, Shift A uh, and Cube. And we can do, see, add the Boolean modifier, and we can do the union. Oh, we need more than that one. And apply that. And then when we move that over, you can see that there, this one here is integrated into the mesh so it's all one mesh now and if we look at it in depth you can see that yeah there's nothing on the back side of it so it you know becomes um, one shell or one surface that is kept like this now of course just because of the the, cur uh, the resolution of these two uh, mesh objects is very different, then you get all these triangles. So the way to do 
to change that or, or, or move into a better scenario from a modeling standpoint, you can uh, refine the cube. So I'll press tab to go into object mode and uh, Z to get back to solid. And then we'll look at layer number one because here's the sequence that I have already prepared for, you know, to make this happen. And here we have the same scenarios before. Here, we have a scenario where, uh, which I s will soon demonstrate. I'll just move these guys over a little bit. And I do shift A and add a cube and m move that over. Take this sphere that I'm using as my cutout tool, so to speak. I'll select the sphere again, press dub, no. Uh, go into edit mode by pressing tab, press W and subdivide and I'll increase the number of cuts to seven. So that way I'm refining this mesh or increasing the resolution of it. And um, tab to go to object mode and add a Boolean modifier difference. And I, in this case, I'll use the sphere because this is the sphere that one there and apply that and then we can move that over to here and uh, look at it in edit mode tab so then you can see that you have you know also these triangles at, at the edge so if I even if I do I can change the shade smooth here and add the modifier, subdivision surface modifier, and then I press tab to go to object mode. You can see that there's a jaggedness of the edges here that might not be what you want. Let's see if I can see that in the camera. Just lift that up and render that. And you can see how that, you know, that works it's not a smooth edge. So go back to 3D view here and put this one back where we had it. So what, what you can do is, I'll just select uh, now these other ones. Um, that's the same thing over there. And uh, here I have selected out from this thing, I've selected out all these faces, control tab to go to face mode. So I've selected out all these faces that surround the sphere. Next step, I delete those and then I have this sphere here uh, with its also with some um, mesh issues left. You have triangles in several places and uh, to fix that you can go around and uh, I'll select these two select that one, right mouse click, shift, select that one, and then do Alt M at last. So I can, so to speak, contract all these um, extraneous, um, no, that was not what I wanted. I wanted this, Alt M vertices. So I get clean quads around the model. So this is, this is what that is. We have this model now with the, you know, the sphere is all cleaned up and the, the edges around here is all cleaned up. So we all have, we have all quads. And then you can start by going to ed edge mode and just start manually filling that in. Or if you feel like it, you could try to use the so now I'm doing Alt, Shift, and right mouse click select here. And I'll do W and bridge to edge loops. And then you get this kind of scenario, this type of scenario. And if I add the subdivision surface modifier to it, then you can see that there are some pulls on, on these. Uh, it, it kind of twists the shape. So I just wanted to demonstrate that, show that and that, that might not be what you would like if you want to keep control over it. So then we'll look at this one here. So now we have filled it in manually. And what I did then is I, I select all of these uh, edges around the cavity. 
and then I can just do W and subdivide and I can do that uh, you know several times just to make sure I get it just the way I want it um, and let's look at this one here yeah it's it's also um, it hasn't been prepared it's or it's prepared but not completed so this one here is the completed now and uh, we can add the subdivision surface modifier to it and look at it uh, and we probably want to select everything and do w and shade smooth so there we go and uh, can move the camera over and look through it and then render that and then you can see how this this one here i just want to render it bigger i think 100% or yeah 100% you can see this one here has well-defined edges and uh, represents this cavity that the that the sphere kind of cuts out out of this block uh, almost like a block of cheese and and that's kind of the idea here it's like those those cavities you have in Swiss cheese little round holes in a solid um, volume so that's one way of using boolean functions you find out what you would like to do and then you kind of learn from from that experience how you need to refine that original mesh you know how much more how, how, how much denser it needs to be also how you know dense or or how many press uh, five to go into and one or three actually to go into Octagonal view. So you, you know, this thing that you used to cut out things with can also be, you know, more uh, can have be a denser mesh or a more uh, coarse mesh, and that so you kind of have to find a balance between these two so that they're somewhat equal, and it's almost a given that you'll never hit right on. Uh, they're all, they, they will not you know match edge to edge, but they will match in numbers, so to speak. So that it's much easier to uh, actually fill it in, and that way you can get a pretty good result uh, much more quickly than you would do it if you tried to do it without using the boolean functions uh, and you do it completely manually. So you can take advantage of the boolean functions, but you'll have to kind of tweak around it if you want to use the subsurface division modifier. So I thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll find good use for these functions in you know previous or later projects and I thank you for your time. Bye-bye.